What is going on in this baby's mind? If you'd asked people this 30 years ago, most people, including psychologists, would have said that this baby was irrational, illogical, egocentric, that he couldn't take the perspective of another person or understand cause and effect. In the last 20 years, developmental science has completely overturned that picture. So in some ways, we think that this baby's thinking is like the thinking of the most brilliant scientists. And in studies we've just been doing in my lab, similar studies, we've shown that four-year-olds are actually better at finding out an unlikely hypothesis than adults are when we give them exactly the same task. So in these circumstances, the children are using statistics to find out about the world. But after all, scientists also do experiments, and we wanted to see if children are doing experiments. When children do experiments, we call it getting into everything or else playing. And there's been a bunch of interesting experiment uh, studies recently that have shown that this playing around is really a kind of experimental research program. Here's one from Christine Laguerre's lab. What Christine did was use our blicket detectors, and what she did was show children that yellow ones made it go and red ones didn't, and then she showed them an anomaly. And what you'll see is that this little boy will go through five hypotheses in the space of two minutes. Okay, so he's just, his first hypothesis has just been falsified. Nothing. <laughs> this one's like a hope, and this one's not. Okay, he's got his experimental notebook out. scientists will recognize that expression of despair, right? Oh, it's because this needs to be like this, and this needs to be like that. Okay, hypothesis two. That's why. Now, this is his next idea. He tells the experimenter to do this, to try putting it out over onto the other location. Not working either. Oh, because the light goes only to here, not here. Oh, the bottom of this box has electricity in here, but this doesn't have electricity. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the fourth oh. hypothesis. It's, it's lighting up! <laughs> so we need to put four. <laughs> so we need to put four on this one to make it light up, and two on this one to make it light okay, up. Okay, there's the fifth hypothesis. Now that is a particularly... That is a particularly adorable and articulate little boy. But what Christine discovered is this is actually quite typical. If you look at the way children play when you ask them to explain something, what they really do is do a series of experiments. This is actually pretty typical of four-year-olds. <laughs>